Hey everybody, this is Scott from InternetSafetyCenter.com. Uh, today what we're going to do is we are going to look at two free utilities to help keep your computer free of spyware and root kits and stuff like that. Uh, both of these are from Microsoft and they are both free. So what we're going to do is just we just open up Internet Explorer and we're going to type in Microsoft Bit Defender. And you'll see where it says Windows Defender. Alright. So we're just going to hit download now. And we're going to hit run. And we're going to install this program here. Um, basically, what, what this, what this um, program is designed to do, let's go back one screen while that's actually installing here. Uh, it says Windows Defender here is a free program that stays that helps you stay protective by protecting your computer against pop-ups, low performance and security threats caused by spyware and other potential and unwanted software. Um, it just, no longer does support Windows 2000 or anything else like that. It, you need XP or Vista to run this. So we're going to hit run now. And then we're going to go next. And then we, have, we do have to validate our copy of Windows. Uh, these tools are only free to people who actually have valid copies of the Microsoft operating system. So then we're going to accept the license agreement and we're going to use the recommended settings and we're going to do a complete installation. So while that's running here, um, again here's the page. It gives you kind of some more information about, about the product and stuff like that, some resources and everything. But basically it's just kind of a free kind of spyware program. Uh, that's going to help protect your computer and everything here. So, like I said, again, it is free. All right, and now we're going to minimize this. It says uh, Windows Defender install complete, check for updates, and run quick scan. We're going to hit finish. We do want it to update itself, and we do want it to actually run a quick scan of the computer. Uh, like I said, you're going to hit download and just hit run here. So, I'm going to take this back to our home page. And here is the Windows Defender screen. Uh, the reason, again, why we said we needed to be updated is if you look down here under status, it says uh, last scan. Well, we haven't run one. Uh, daily scan is at 2 in the morning. Real time protection is on, but the virus definition version is from 2006. So we are slightly outdated here, and that's why we're actually running it to get the latest definitions here. So. Shouldn't take too terribly long to actually get all the definitions in. Okay. So waiting on this. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go look at the second one while that's actually updated itself. And you're going to type in Microsoft Malicious. Actually, if you just type in MAL, Microsoft Malicious Software Removal. The second one down. And then click on the details. And then here it is Microsoft Windows Mal Malicious Software Removal Tool. So we'll come back and look at the site in just a second. Okay. You can see down here it says Windows Defender is up to date, and the definition and the upgrades are all good to go. So now we're actually going to run a quick scan of our computer here. We're going to go ahead and let this run in the background. We're going to go back to the other side. But what the quick scan does is there's a high level scan of the computer here. So we are just going to close that and go back to the Microsoft Windows Malicious Software Removal Tool. Now, if you read the top of here, it says this, cool, you, this tool checks your computer for infections, you know, like from blaster shafts or my doom configure and stuff like that so so it actually is a really nice utility to have and like I said it is completely free to people who have valid uh, uh, valid copies of the Microsoft operating system and you can you can read more uh, about it here so we're gonna hit download and we're gonna hit run normally we never ever recommend hitting run when you're downloading stuff we always recommend you hit save but um, now we are getting these directly from the Microsoft website as you can see Microsoft Download Center and everything it does have a valid URL so we do we do consider that safe we're gonna hit run 
And I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And we'll open up Windows Defender here and let that keep going here. As you can see, it does say how much, how long the uh, time elapsed for how long the scans have been running, and it does tell you how many objects are scanned here. So we just got a couple seconds here, and we'll get the malicious software removal tool to pop up here. Yeah, and here it is. So and we're gonna close this. We're gonna agree and accept the terms and hit next. And then what you can do is you can actually list. All right, it does actually display a list of, of the, all the everything it detects. So here's everything that this tool will actually look into your computer and try to lo locate. And if it locates any of this stuff or finds it, it will actually remove it for you. So it's actually really, really cool. So, And if you want, you can click on any of these, like uh, Windows NT Configure. Uh, you click on it, and what it's going to do is then launch another web page here. It actually tells you a little bit about the threat. It gives you some information about the threat, some kind of technical analysis about the threat, and stuff like that. And you can do that for any of these. So. This one's not too terribly bad. So the Windows configure is much, much more serious. So, so we're going to hit OK. And we're going to hit Next. And then you have your three scan options. Again, uh, quick scan is the area of the system most likely to contain the software. Full scan will go all the way through the computer. And it can take several hours. Now, when we have actually run this ourselves, the uh, software removal tool, and we've done a full scan, uh, it has taken anywhere between three to six hours to actually complete. So we're just going to do a quick scan right now. And we're going to open up Windows Defender and let you kind of see them side by side here. And we're going to let both of these guys run. So and then we'll, what we'll do is actually once they're finished running, um, we'll actually show you how to get to them. So, so just uh, be a minute or so here and you should start actually finishing. Go ahead and download both of these, uh, both these tools. So. All right, still letting them run here. All right, the malicious software removal tool is already done, and you see here it says no malicious software was detected. And then you, if you click on View Detailed Results of the Scan, it here's everything it's scanned for, and then it'll tell you if it actually found it. So, so we're gonna hit Finish there, and we're kind of come back to him in just a second. All right, now you see Windows Defender here. Uh, your computer is running normally, and no one wanted our harmful, so harmful software was detected. So that's good. So now, how do we get to these, and how do we use these tools? So you're going to click on the Start key, go to All Programs, and you'll see your first one, Windows Defender. We'll launch it. Again, same interface here. Again, down here says uh, Definition Version. Make sure you're completely updated. Uh, it's going to run a daily scan at 2 o'clock in the morning and real-time protection is turned on. Uh, you have your scan options here. Again, quick scan, full scan, and custom scan. You saw how the, saw the quick scan only takes, you know, five, five six minutes. Uh, again, the full scan, you know, you're looking at a couple hours. Uh, you can look at your history, which will tell you if it found anything and stuff like that. And then you have your tools. Um, if you go into options here, it displays all the default settings for the tool. Um, here, automatically scan your computer, which is recommended, daily, 2 o'clock, and it's going to do a quick scan. You can change that to full scan if you want or not. It's completely up to you. But we think actually a quick scan is good for every day, but we do recommend a full scan every week. Uh, default actions, you know, just get rid of the stuff. So and that's what it's set to do. Real-time protection is obviously turned on. I uh, should notify you if software has not been classified as risk. Not necessarily. We, that's not a big deal with us. Um, now, this we actually did want to check. Changes to you, made to your computer by software that is permitted to run. We'd like to have a little pop-up to let us know that something has changed. Just so you can look at it to verify that it is correct. So, Alright, then you, you can see what all it's going to scan and everything. So go back to the home here. Um, that's the Windows Defender. Again, completely free. It's a nice little spyware removal tool. So, And now we're going to look at the malicious removal tool. Um, that is not listed in here. You cannot find that from here. Um, what you have to do is you got to go to the start key and you got to go to run. Now in the run box, you're going to type in mrt.exe. 
So, and then it'll comes up. And again, you can view your list, and then you hit next, and then just determine what kind of scan you actually want to do. Uh, to let you know that some people have asked us, is this a substitute for antivirus software? And the answer is no. Um, and it even says it right here, is this a replacement for antivirus product? No. Uh, the reason is, is because this is only updated every month, and that's it. It's on the second Tuesday of every month when Microsoft releases the updates is when they actually update this. So it is not designed for real-time protection, and it is not designed to be an antivirus replacement. So, so again, that's all we got today for you. We got these two free utilities for you. Again, we got write-ups on the website about these. So, again, you know, this is Scott from InternetSafetyCenter.com, and uh, you know, have a good day. Thanks.